Ever wondered why the fast food chain is named Wendy's? A question that's perhaps crossed your mind as you bit into one of their juicy square burgers or sipped on their famous Frosty. The answer, my friends, is as heartwarming as the food is delicious. The story begins with Dave Thomas, the founder of Wendy's. The fast food chain was christened with a name that held a special place in his heart, a name that belonged to his beloved fourth daughter, Melinda. Now, you might be wondering, why Wendy's and not Melinda's? Well, the tale behind it is quite charming. As a little girl, Melinda had a bit of a tongue twister situation going on with her own name. The tricky L's and R's seemed to tie her tongue in knots. To make things easier for herself, she often referred to herself as Wenda. As time passed and tongues loosened, Wenda morphed into Wendy. And thus, the name that we now associate with delicious fast food was born. But the homage to Wendy didn't stop at the name. The logo for Wendy's, with its red braided hair and freckles, is also a tribute to her. That's right, the friendly face that greets you as you walk into any Wendy's outlet is none other than an artistic representation of a young Wendy. And if that wasn't enough, the first Wendy's restaurant even displayed photos of her, creating a warm and personal atmosphere that resonated with the patrons. And there you have it, the endearing story behind the name Wendy's, a story that adds a touch of warmth and humanity to the fast food experience. A story that reminds us of the love of a father for his daughter and how that love was woven into the very fabric of the brand. So now you know the friendly face of Wendy's is actually the founder's daughter. The journey of Wendy's started in Ohio in 1969. It was in this year that the first Wendy's restaurant was born, situated in the heart of Columbus, Ohio. Initially, it went by the name of Wendy's Old Fashioned Hamburgers. The name was a nod to the traditional homestyle hamburgers that the founder, Dave Thomas, envisioned for his restaurant. But as is often the case with names, people found a shorthand. Before long, the restaurant was affectionately known as Wendy's. Just a few short years later, in August of 1972, Wendy's embarked on a new chapter of its story. The first franchise agreement was signed, paving the way for a Wendy's restaurant to open its doors in Indianapolis, Indiana. This marked the beginning of what would become a global fast food empire. However, the tale of the very first Wendy's restaurant took a bittersweet turn. In 2007, the doors of the inaugural Wendy's restaurant in Columbus, Ohio, were permanently closed. The absence of a drive through and limited parking space were cited as major factors in its closure. As the fast food industry evolved, the demands of the customers did too. The lack of these modern conveniences proved to be a challenge too great for the original Wendy's to overcome. Yet, the closure of the first Wendy's restaurant was not the end of the line for this beloved fast food chain. Quite the contrary. The Wendy's brand continued to grow and evolve, learning from the past and innovating for the future. Today, Wendy's is a household name with restaurants dotted across the globe. From the United States to Asia, from Europe to the Middle East, the red-headed girl with pigtails is recognized worldwide. The legacy of the first Wendy's restaurant lives on, not just in the name, but also in the commitment to quality food and service that has become synonymous with the Wendy's brand. From humble beginnings in Columbus, Ohio, Wendy's has grown into a global fast food giant. Fast forward to today, Wendy's is a household name with restaurants all over the world. Who doesn't love a Frosty from Wendy's? This iconic dessert is more than a sweet treat. It's a symbol of Wendy's enduring appeal. With around 300 million Frosties sold each year, it's clear that this Frosty dessert holds a special place in the hearts of fast food lovers. The Frosty success story began as a simple tale. It was one of the original five products on Wendy's menu back in 1969. This thick, creamy dessert was the brainchild of Wendy's founder, Dave Thomas, who wanted a dessert so thick that you needed a spoon to eat it. And thus, the Frosty was born. The original Frosty was a mix of chocolate and vanilla, resulting in a unique flavor that was neither too chocolatey nor too vanilla. Just the perfect blend to satisfy your sweet tooth. And oh boy, did it satisfy. The Frosty was an instant hit and has since become a beloved staple of the Wendy's menu. Over the years, Wendy's has introduced new flavors to keep the Frosty fresh and exciting. They've experimented with different flavors like strawberry and vanilla, and even served the Frosty in a waffle cone. But despite these new twists, the original chocolate Frosty remains the most popular choice among customers. It's interesting to note that despite the Frosty's long history and popularity, Wendy's didn't trademark the name Frosty until 2013. 
This might seem like a late move, but it shows that Wendy's is committed to protecting the legacy of this popular dessert. The Frosty is a testament to Wendy's commitment to quality and innovation. It's more than just a dessert. It's a tradition that has been enjoyed by millions of people for over 50 years. So, the next time you find yourself at a Wendy's drive-thru, why not order a Frosty? It's a delicious way to become part of a half-century-long tradition. Next time you enjoy a Frosty, remember, it's a tradition that's been loved for over 50 years. Did you know Wendy's was the first to introduce a value menu? Indeed, while we now see this concept as a staple of the fast food industry, it was Wendy's that started this trend. Picture this. The year is 1989, and Wendy's decides to make a bold move in the fast food market. They introduced a whole menu where items were priced at a mere 99 cents. This was a significant shift in the industry. Up until then, fast food chains were primarily competing on their flagship items. But Wendy's decided to change the game. Instead of just offering their main burger at a reduced price, they decided to provide a variety of products for the same low cost. The value menu included everything from burgers, chicken nuggets, fries, and even drinks, all for just 99 cents each. This was a stroke of genius. Instead of customers coming in for a single cheap burger, they found themselves tempted to purchase multiple items due to the irresistible price point and variety. The result? Increased sales and a satisfied clientele. This ingenious marketing strategy attracted customers who were looking for a quick, affordable meal without compromising on choice or quality. And it wasn't long before other fast food chains took notice. A decade later, Burger King followed suit and introduced their own value menu, signaling that Wendy's had truly started a revolution in the industry. The impact of Wendy's value menu was far-reaching. It not only changed the way customers experienced fast food, but also altered the landscape of the industry, compelling competitors to follow suit. So the next time you're enjoying a value meal at any fast food chain, remember where it all began. Wendy's value menu was indeed a game changer in the fast food industry. The square patties at Wendy's are iconic, but did you know they weren't the first? That's right. The inspiration for this unique burger shape came from a restaurant in the founder's hometown, QP Hamburgers in Kalamazoo, Michigan. QP Hamburgers was one of the first hamburger joints to serve up burgers with square-shaped patties. Now, you might be wondering, why square? Well, it's not just for aesthetics or to stand out from the crowd. There's a clever strategy behind it. The square shape of the patties gave the illusion of more meat. With the corners of the patty poking out from the round burger bun, it certainly appears as though you're getting a substantial amount of meat in your burger. This visual trick played well into the perception of value for money, which is always an important factor in the fast food industry. But the benefits of the square patty didn't stop there. The shape also allowed customers to see the quality of the meat more clearly. Unlike a hidden round patty, the square patty's corners were out in the open, showcasing the quality of Wendy's meat. This transparency was a bold move, but it spoke volumes about Wendy's confidence in their product. So, when Dave Thomas opened the first Wendy's, square patties were one of the first items on the menu. This was not a random choice, but a considered decision, inspired by his favorite burger joint and fueled by a desire to offer a product that appeared more generous and of higher quality. And it's safe to say, the decision paid off. Today, the square patties have become an iconic part of Wendy's identity, enjoyed by millions around the world. So, the square patties at Wendy's are not just a quirky feature, but a well-thought-out strategy. It's a testament to the brand's commitment to delivering value and quality to its customers. One square patty